Yeah. Yeah. Mimi ndio zina luxury. Because ulijilitumbukiza kwenye siasa. Now how did that happen? TNA. So before TNA. Mm. I was telling you. Yes. When I was in campus. Yeah. See now I become a student leader. Mm. But now in church where I was, mm. there's this lady called Denya Masiko. Yes. I know Denya. Denya of Orange Company. Orange, yes. Denya now. Yeah. Who was a great also a great mentor. Yes. And we were in the worship team together. Yes. So Denya tells me, "Hey, there's a guy she knows yeah. who's looking for a driver in a PA." Yes. So me I was looking for any way to make money <laughs> and any way to pay my fees. Yes. So this guy happened to be mm. the director of youth. Yes. In present Kibaki's campaign. <laughs> I met him just here at Alfajiri. Yes. He did an interview. <laughs> Gatia. Gatia. So not John Gatia. Yes. Gatia. Gatia Patrick. <laughs> yes. We call him director. Yes. He was my boss, and he's still my boss. Even though he had to work for me a few years later, <laughs> but he's, he's always my boss. <laughs> and so I worked for Gatia. I started uh, as a how driver. How was the interview? El Kulizaji. So he just looked at me, he asked me why I've gone to school, what I'm doing, I told him I'm in student leadership. Then he asked me, because he said you look so humble, or quiet. I told him I don't like violence, but if, if, it, if it need be. Yes. Because I don't know people who are He gave me the khakis. Yes. I can put a kifungwe gari, I'll go on a premium. Yes. This is cool. So tukaanza na premio na mpeleka mkutano premio ndio ilikuwa kusema eh hey, ilikuwa kusema hey. it was that insane <laughs> then after that he moved to a prado yes eh hey. hey. sasa when i drop into a meeting hey. i drive to campus in that prado hey. Hey, mambo mbaya <laughs> so i moved and became his pa yes so when i became his pa hey. we started vijana na kibaki yeah. and vijana na kibaki i was very instrumental yes so i kept going up the ranks yes. ultimately i worked very now closely with president kibaki yeah. just from that quick journey of yeah. like six months at that time you were very young I was young, I was uh, like 21 or 22. Yeah. 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 Na Kibaki alisema aje alipokuona mara ya kwanza when he was introduced to you. No, the first time. And it's very interesting. The first time I met President Kibaki mm. was during the 05 yeah. election. Mm. And I just a group of students. Yeah. Um that time I had been in Orange. Yeah. Yeah, I was supporting ODM and saying no. <laughs> but I saw a very different man, very humble. What you see on TV is not what President Kibaki is. Mm. He's very knowledgeable. Yeah. And so the next time we meet him, yeah. he asks us mm. What is the GDP of India? None of us knew. Mm. It was at that time 6.9%. Mm. He said, now, um, if you grow by 6%, can you tell? He said, no, I can't tell. But you'll feel your trousers is getting short. Yeah. Going a quite tight. Yeah. He said, this country of Kenya is growing at that percentage. Mm. But people are saying it's a lie because you have slums. Yeah. So he asked, what is the fastest growing city in India? I had seen the Time magazine. Yeah. It was Mumbai. Mumbai, yes. And he said, yes, people are saying we have slums and all that, but it's growing. Yeah. So he said, now, mm. me, I've been president, yeah. I've been a PS, I've been an MP, yes. I started when I was 32. Mm. Kibaki sasa na sema, Kibaki. Yes. Right now, I don't want anything for myself. Yeah. I want it for you guys. Ukipatia mpishi kazi ya kupikia for one hour. Yeah. Eh? And yeah. you know how you used to talk. Yeah. Sasa, ukipatia mtu kazi yeah. ya kupikia. <laughs> but in that one hour, apate nyanya ime oza, yeah. abadilishe. So the one hour is reaching. Yeah. He's not finished cooking, mm. but you can smell the food. Yes. Will you chase him or will you let him finish? Amalize. <laughs> he sold, that's, I was sold. Yes. And that's how I started working with President Kibaki. <laughs> and I realized he was an amazing, amazing economist. Yeah. And he, what people saw, yeah. the public persona, is mm. not what he was. Mm. So after that, after the election, you know, there was drama, yeah. there was violence. I think one of the darkest moments yeah. in this country. Mm. And for me, I've always had a vision and burden for Kenya. Yes. You know, mm. all through school. Mm. Public speaking, being a prefect, all that. At a church. At a church, mm. being a leader. But I started now working mm. through a lady called Nancy, yeah. who was uh, President Kibaki's political affairs director. Mm. You know, she'd give me work to do. Yes. Sama Sakaja, why don't you do for me a two-page? Yeah. Now people know her as that on a Mudanga deep state. But for me, she's just mom. Yeah. yeah Nancy. Mm. For me, she's just like mom. Yeah. Just me, why don't you do me a two-page on this issue? Yeah. I'd go, I think about it. Namchorea. Yeah. Namchorea, two days later, I see President Kibaki saying it. Yeah. She does me something else. I do. She, I get 50K, 100K. Yeah. I see him doing it. So one day I told her, I, I think I should do, go do a master's yeah. in political science. Yeah. Because you have at your disposal in State House, all the professors and political scientists, yeah. I can remember the day you do that, Sakaja, yes. is the day I'll stop calling you. Because your political knowledge is natural. Yes. And that is how I want it. So you know, it's through that that I met Uru Kenyatta, yeah. uh, His Excellency, President yeah. Uru. Yeah. So Shule Kwanza Mwifan, Actuario Science. Actuario. Yes, Abu. So you love numbers. Me, I love numbers. And I think maybe that's my difference in politics. I look at everything through numbers. Yeah. Um, of course, so the, the faces of the people. Your favorite subject is maths. Maths. It became my favorite, ultimately. Yeah. From one of them, I was going to tell you a story. I was going to tell you a story. 
But later, I, I love numbers. Yes. I, there are people who I know their number, I don't know their name. Yeah. I, but I know their phone number. Yes. And I see so them. It's just you and numbers. Yeah, so numbers, economics, th those are my areas, my pet subject. So you meet President uh, Huru. So I met him in Kibaki's campaign yeah. and we became friends. Yeah. And we'd interact. Then he was not the president. No, he was uh, an MP, then he became deputy prime minister. Yes. So when he was deputy prime minister, um, we'd interact. Yeah. But there was this time now, yeah. which I think was my big break, mm. the constitution making process. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Katiba Mesemekana, we need new constituencies. Yeah. Krigla Commission, remember Krigla came after the election? Yes. Akasema, you need to redraw the constituencies. Akuna mtu akuna formula. Yeah. So Nancy again asked me, yeah. can you find out a formula? Yes. So everything I've, I'm always asked, if mm. I don't know, I say I don't know, but I will find out. Yes. So I didn't know. Yeah. But I read about it, I researched. So I came up with a formula mm. of how to draw constituencies. Yes. Now, Wabunge walikuwa naivasha. You remember Babu na Mwamba? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And they're serious not, meeting. It was serious. Yeah. They are not agreed on that issue. Yeah. So they said, PNU, bring a consultant. Mm. And uh, ODM, bring a consultant. Mm. ODM brought Professor Adul, yeah. who was my professor's professor. Yeah. Right, at the now, university. right now he's a vice chancellor at Technical University. Yeah. But yeah, Lifunza Professor Anku. Yeah. Yeah. PNU brought a 24-year-old boy. I did have a suit. Kamodo Iganjo. Yeah. I know, I'm sure you know Kamovo. Uh, uh, the wife is governor of Kirinyaga now. Yeah. Waiguru. Yeah. Kamovo went to Naivasha to buy me a suit. Yeah. Uh, some very dirty brown, old brown suit. Yeah. Me chapa. Yeah. Ukai mutu, ukai mzee, ukai mzee. Ukai mutu, ukai mzee. Shoulder. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> so, me had my formula. Yeah. Some people told me, no, you can't present. Let another professor present on your behalf. Yeah. I said, you no. happen to my professor? Because I was like, me don't have a year's abu. So, Professor Adol presented. Yeah. And he spoke maths. Yeah. But I had seen his presentation two days before yeah. and I had discounted it. Mimi nikakuja nikafanya yangu, nikaongea maths in a political language. Yeah. The professor came back and said, you guys, honorable members, yeah. do what this young man is saying. Yeah. And that is how. They even asked me, okay, how do we put it in the constitution? Yeah. So I went and wrote it and I article 89 today of the constitution. Yeah. I dictated it word for word yeah. at age 24. Where? Then in Naivasha. And that is what is in the constitution. So from then, now Uhuru told his people, Sakaja must come work with me. Yeah. I refused because yeah. I had my small company, Arthur Johnson, it's still there. Yes. I, we do finance. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be a civil servant. Yeah. So anyway, he insisted. He told them, if you don't get this guy, you yeah. can So we went. He was in Kanu. Yeah. But the thing that was best with us was we, we just became friends mm. more than a boss. Yeah. In fact, I can count the number of times we spoke politics. He'd yeah. come home. I'd go to his place. Yeah. We talk about family. Yeah. We realize my mom used to race. When she was racing, she used to race with his sister yeah. at Kenya High because uh -huh. my mom was in Kenya High. Uh -huh. So we just developed a friendship and a bond. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, Kanu. Yes. I to be Kanu. Yes. <laughs> Kanu will be difficult yeah. to the people. Yeah. So we were given the task to think of the political move. Yeah. We found a Mze called Nginyo Kariuki. Yes. Had a party called NAP. National Alliance Party of Kenya, yes. which we went and we changed the officials. But now the slogan eh. or the acronym, eh. short form is NAP Kenya. Because eh. eh. I'm yeah, can I really order We want to take a nap, eh. <laughs> <laughs> so we couldn't have nap. Eh. So we said, okay, National Alliance NA. Who eh. said no, not applicable. Eh. So then I remember it hit us. I said no, why do we put Article V? Eh. V National Alliance. Yes. And the rest is history. TNA. I remember to Kukana Bruce mm. we're doing advertisements about the slogan yeah. with Moses Kuria. Yes. We sat there, Steve Makapote, with Bruce Odiambo, yeah. the late Bruce Odiambo. Was yeah. a, is uh, your, is your friend? Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. My great so, buddy. Yeah. And we said, every Kenyan wants the same thing. Yes. So, what is the slogan? I believe. So, we came up with the slogan, I believe. Uh -huh. And we launched a party on the 20th of May 2012. Kenyans have never seen. Uh, we've never a seen. A party, that. a launch like that. Uh -huh. It was young people. Yes. And a credit, you know, and, and the dove, and the dove. Yeah. Sikano will call a jogo. Yes. And we said Kenya for 50 years yeah. has been a jogo scratching the surface. Yeah. Now it is time to take off, yeah. and we want peace. <laughs> what? So what shows take off and peace? Yeah. The dove. Yeah. And then the red, the vibrance. Yes. I was one of the oldest officials. The rest were young, apart from Monyango. Mm. The rest were young people. We believed in the in the beauty of the dreams of young. And I must credit President Uru, because yeah. he was 50 years old then. Mm. He trusted a 27 year old. Yeah, me, I'm, I'm 36, but I, I don't think I have the same kind of trust he has <laughs> at that age. Yeah. And I thank him yeah. so much uh -huh. for, for believing in for us. Believing you. For believing in me and believing in us. So to Kendelea, mm. we had to now bring together TNA and URP. Yeah. And you remember when we launched TNA? Yeah. 
It was four guys who spoke. Yeah. Olo, myself, uh, Eugene Omalwa, yeah. and, and the president. And the president. Mm -hmm. But now we wanted to win. Yes. Tasa, see, I, I took all these MPs and the pre all of them went to Naivasha. Yeah. And I was doing a presentation on numbers, as always. I'm yeah. the guy who does the numbers yeah. presentation. <laughs> so when I do the presentation, I tell them for us to win, um, and, and not to be tribal, but that's how some, sometimes you look at the numbers. Yeah. I said we need at least sixty percent of Rift Valley. Ah, wakateka. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed. It was unthinkable. How do you work with Ruto that yeah, time? Yes. Yeah. So they laughed. They said, "Now this this kid yeah. is a joker." Yeah. So they finished laughing. I said, "Honourable members, mm. if you have noticed, yeah. this presentation, the number has not changed. <laughs> <laughs> numbers don't. The sixty like. percent is still sixty percent. Uh -huh. yeah. You've never said this is, anywhere. I've never told anyone this story." No, Jay-Z says, men lie, uh, women lie, yeah. numbers don't. Yes. Numbers don't lie. So that evening, I remember President Uruk, now then he was DPM, mm. called me to Zoom, he said, yeah. and we went through it, and yeah. we went through it. Yeah. At that time, he had, uh, he had thought Eugene was man. At that time, Eugene was supposed to be the running man. The running man. Yeah. But that changed. Nebu Nipeleke, show me the numbers. Eh? Eh, step by step. Even the census, even the voters, these are the age groups, these are the different provinces. Yeah. Said, you need William. William. I told him you need William. They were friends, good enough. They yeah. had a personal relationship. Yes. And they, they were really, and, and this one, no matter who disagrees with me, yeah. I can tell you, President Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto yeah. were very sincere yeah. about creating peace in this country. Yeah. In fact, at some point, yeah. it was not even about the election for them. Mm. It was about communities that have fought since independence, since yeah. 92 clashes. Yeah. It was very genuine. Yeah. And that's how we formed that now Jubilee coalition. Sasa but yeah, but I was in Ulysses. Yeah. But then <laughs> so yeah. it was And Ulyse. we just became all buddies. Yeah. Many times it would be four of us. Mm. William Ruto would be with Nixon Korir, yeah. myself with Uru. Yeah. You know, and, and, and the team now became bigger. Yeah. We now moved to the party. Yes. I left the communication office, which I'd i had set up the comms office with Akina like Itumbi and the rest. I got yeah. them. Yeah. And uh, they're also amazing guys. Mm. Not, I think the rest is history. The rest is history. You still talk to William? Yeah. No, I talk, I talk to all of them. Yeah. 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 Uh, you, know, you know what I believe? DP, mean? yeah. I believe that politics yeah. must never be an enmity. Yeah. Um, today, mm. if I need to talk to the Deputy President William Ruto, yeah. I'll pick my call and I'll talk to him. And he'll pick my call. Mm. And he calls me. Yeah. The President, if I need to reach him, I'll message him. Yeah. And he'll call back. Yeah. Yeah. And he writes, oh, oh, piggy, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'll message him. He calls back. I'm grateful. I, we were discussing earlier about Benja. He gave me a million bob for Benja. Yes. Tinga gave me a million bob for Benja. Yeah. I talked to Tinga. Yeah. I talked to Musalia. Yeah. Who right now I, I think is the guy. Yeah. All of them, I, I have a relationship that is respectful because I see them as that, that generation of leaders mm -hmm. who are mentoring us. Yes. One day my generation will have its term. Yeah. And during our time. We don't want to create an enmity. Mm -hmm. I was so happy to see, like Musali, I went for William Ruto's daughter's wedding. Yes. Because when it's family, when it's really, let, us, let us never make politics yeah, an enmity. Yeah. So even now, what a, don't, don't get now. Yeah. yeah. That's not, you never know, you could be the... This country, let me tell you, we're, we're only 586,000 square kilometers. Yeah. This country has enough for all our needs, mm. but not enough for our grid. Yeah. There is no big difference. Yeah. You know, the dream of a Kikuyu is not opposed to the hope of a Luo. Yeah. What a Kamba wants for their child yeah. is not different from what a, you know, a, 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 a Mijikenda wants for their child. Yeah. Our dreams are the same. Our ideas are the same for our children. Yeah. We want the same thing. Mm. If it ain't going to this community is bad, this guy is a bad person, yeah. has no place in this. And that's not the future. The future I believe in yeah. is where we'll see each other yeah. without thinking of tribe. Yes. Without thinking of which is the community. Mm. And where we can give these kids, like my kids, your kids, everyone's kids, the same chance at life. Yeah. That is Kenya, I'm about to end. Yeah. And that is the Kenya we need. And I need to hear about you, Kenya, to end. I want to hear you, Senate. I want to know how my bad one. I talk to him, I'll pick up my phone, okay. I'll call him, yeah. he'll speak. You come from an academic point of view. Yeah. Some of the things are Siasa, Senator, yeah. Killer Sequence, see, Unapeleka, Motion Series. How is that? You know me, I was always a technical person. I, yeah. I never thought I'd get into like elective politics yes. that early. I always wanted to be in. Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to say, then my dad used to call me prime minister, so yeah. he said I want to be president one day. Yeah. And I remember when I was eight, I wrote it down and that, that was my vision. Yeah. So for me, fortunately, since Nilianza at 19 campus and then whatnot, there's not been a culture shock. Yeah. So I'm not uh, mesmerized by power. 
and I, I work, I try hard not to let it get to my head. Yeah. To kwa mtu wa kawaida. Yes. But it's, it's nice when you do something that changes people's lives. Yes. You know, when you bring a bill mm. and it becomes a law mm. and you see a difference in it. Because I believe really what we must do is to make this country better. Yeah. To make Nairobi better. Mm. A place of opportunity. And mm. that really is my vision. Yeah. That we can do that with our city. Yes. Nairobi is the only frontier yeah. that we have left yes. in, in the, on this continent. Mm -hmm. if, you look, if you look to the west, yes. you, see, you see, first of all, worldwide. The only you know Nairobi? Yeah. If you look at the continent of Africa, yeah. first of all, Tuanzi Uko, I have to go to Komonenche. Nigeria mm. and uh, West Africa yeah. are mineral rich, mm. even South Africa. Yeah. Now what? What were major? They were 80 million people, wako na mafuta, yeah. wako na gold. We don't have any of that. Yeah. Our best, our best mineral, yeah. our best resource is above the ground. It is the people. Mm. So Nairobi na fako pahali, mm. I'm if you have a good idea. And that's why I don't like this issue of tribe. But mm. we deal with the tribe issues. So long as someone has content, Nairobi should be the place where place opportunities. Yeah. Nafasi. Mm. Kila mdo zikupata nafasi. And for now, yeah. what people are feeling is there's nothing in their pocket. Yeah, yeah so, akuna chapa. Akuna That's chapa. the reality. You know, so even as you're doing projects, you must yeah. mix between how do I create opportunities yeah. for young people, for women, yeah. for employment. Yeah. And that's what I've been doing all this time mm. as, a, as an MP. Yeah. Ile mambo 30% I did, but I, I'm not an implementer, Missy Governor, yeah. Missy Una Minister. Unawatana tuliko sana na Gava sana. Tuliko sana, ay, yo, yo iliko mambo ya formula. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, now, yeah. I want to get to a place where yeah. I can execute the laws I've done. Yeah. You see, and, and that's why I'm going for Governor of Nairobi. You're going because for Governor? I'm going for Governor of Nairobi. When? 2022. 2022? Yes. <laughs> because now we must make this city of ours. <laughs> that shining example of what it means yes. when you give people an opportunity and a chance at life. Yeah. Our working Nairobi. Ojo Nairobi must work. Then what will you change different? Bad is there? No, you see, bad is there. And NMS is doing a good job yeah. in many respects. Yeah. The social aspects, but the people who want to elect someone yeah. who now listens to them, represents them. Yeah. Others would get machines to run the whole country. Because we need know? a governor in 2022. We need a governor. Yeah. We need a governor. And the NMS did uh, expires in uh, two months to the election. Yeah. That's when it, 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 it is done. Yeah. I've grown in this city, I believe, I remember when it was working. It can work. It can work. It can. It must work. Okay. Due to Nairobi. To Nairobi. Which Nairobi. is the one thing we need to change in Kirudi. Yeah, Kwanza need traffic. Traffic. You need to get Kwanza because how do you manage traffic? Na barabara. You, you need a mass transit. No, the idea that the more roads you do, the yeah. less traffic is a lie. Yeah. If you look at New York, Robert Moses, when they come barabara, mm. they have to do mass transit, subways, and trains. Yeah. That is. The, if I was to do one thing, that's the first thing I'd do. Mm. Then after you've done that, of course, healthcare is extremely important. Healthcare. Na mambo ya maji. Yes. But just if you sort that out, yeah. it affects housing. Yeah. Because kama najua nikipanda train ngong, yeah. nafika tao in 20 minutes, yeah. si lazima nikai kwa slam hapa. Uh -huh. I will go stay in Kitengela. Yeah. I will go stay on the outskirts. Mm. You change housing, you, you you make people actually make a living yeah. in, a, in an easier way. Today in Nairobi, you can't do two meetings. Yeah. Mombasa Road na Westi. Awezi. Awezi. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's the first thing. We ma and, we, and we can do it. Yeah. I was in Saudi Arabia a few weeks ago. Siju liona nikirapu huko. Yeah. <laughs> Nikiwa Saudi, I met a guy called Odongo. Yeah. He's doing the Saudi Metro, yeah. the mass transit system. It had to be a Nim Kenya, yeah. Odongo. Yeah. Eh? He's the same guy yeah. who's done the Dubai one. Yeah. Why can't we do it here? Yeah. And it's Odongo, we can get him it's back Odongo, here. even there, Odongo's here. Yeah. If you look at the guys who manage the London yeah. subway system, yeah. it's Kenyans. So that's a, a global capital of yeah. the 21st century yeah. must not be dealing with issues. You're staying on the road for two, three hours. Yeah. So that and creating opportunities yeah. for jobs. 30% of yeah. your budget last year, you're going to get a mama, you're yeah. going Nikuulize, hii kitu baba hako alikuambia kwa ni likuingia kwa kichwa. Sijui, and that's why. Are you ambitious? You have to, every five years, you have to move to the next level. Ama, what happens? <laughs> Ama ni mtu wana kuchocha. Hapa, not not necessarily. Me, me, I, I always make up my mind. Yeah. You but you see, ultimately, yeah. ni mekuwa nasikiza watu. Yeah. And you see, we all in Nairobi. Ile shida unapitia, unapitia. I use the same road to come here. Yeah. I, unfortunately, I'll buy bread at the same price as the person yeah. in Islam is buying. Yeah. Say, karibu at FK70, Bob. Yeah. And that is not an equal society. Yeah. So it's because I have, I have a deep, just a, gen, a deep concern for this city and its people. Yeah. And that is why I have to offer myself. So see, I didn't have to VT for the sake of it. So, so after governor? After governor, president. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> You'll see it in your lifetime. I, I'll see it in my lifetime. Yes. A journalist uh, so in Swali is examining the president. Yeah. A while back, uh -huh. before he became the president, uh -huh. and I asked the same question to... Uh, Deputy President William Ruto a while back. Yes, and did they say the same thing? And you, and it came to pass. So you're a prophet when you ask. <laughs> Will you change? I hope not. Um, of course. Let me tell you first of all, 
if someone remains the same as they've always been, there's a problem. Life is about progress. Yes. So last money, yes. but in a positive way. Yes. Like now, in my political journey, I've learned a lot. I've yes. grown. Mm. I've made mistakes. Yeah. I've apologized. Yeah. I have done good things. Yes. Kuna mali zingine nime, nime yeah. But it's, it's a process of learning. You, you are an A student. Yeah. Ah, jamaa wana talent. Ndiyo. Talent sasa zitafanywa aje. Gita iko api? I have guitars. Hiyo <laughs> tuna maliza nao himbi maliza hapa. But you see, you see what I believe in. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. Look at the guys you have. Yeah. And you are an artist at some point. I was an artist. Na ukatu ondokea? No, I'm, once an artist, always an artist. <laughs> the, the richest people in the world yeah. are those who use their God-given talent. Yes. Kufanya kitu. Yeah. The creative economy. Yeah. Na leo nimekuwa nongea na creative economy. In fact, I'm meeting them. Mambo ya royalties, yeah. mambo ya skiza tunes, etc. They should be able to earn a living. Mm from what they have. Yeah. And that's why I brought in that issue of uh, airplay. Yeah. Media stations mingi ya zilipi royalties. Yes. Zinacheza vitu za huko juu, local content kama hii, yeah. ni show mbili tatu. Mm. Hafu tunapele kwa Alejandro, yeah. tunapele kwa ZG, hizo ma, you know, Mexican soaps. Yeah. Yes. But if we build our talent here, yeah. whether it is football, rugby, which I love, yeah. we can actually make something yeah. out of our people. Awesome. This is your guitar, just, can you play something? <laughs> Is right. Okay, sir. All right, thank you so much. Play for us a tune before we play some football with them. <laughs> Do you know last one? Do you they can't know it. This generation. Right. Okay, we are done with the Saka. Just bye. You want to say bye-bye? Say bye to the cameras. Final word. You want to say before we go? No, it's been great having you guys here yeah. and sharing yeah. my journey. I hope it inspires someone. Yeah. But the journey is not over. Yeah. And for everyone to know that whatever they are, they can make it and they can be something. They can make it. Something. Yeah. All right. So bye-bye. You say we go? Say bye-bye then. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Shall we play some football? Yeah. yeah. The All right. Let's play some football. <laughs> you are playing between it and Wari. You go. You and your dad. Karuru <laughs> 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 Okay, I agree. Lesson number one, I need to get a compound. <laughs>